Just say jelly. Peanut butter. Jelly. Peanut butter. Jelly. Peanut butter. Jelly. Thank you. Welcome. I am super, super, super excited because my favorite person of all time is here today in the building for you guys. I couldn't sleep last night or the night before because I was so super excited about the opportunity that you guys are going to have in just a second. So, during this assembly, I need you to be on your best behavior. I need you to be respectful. And I need you to be relentless in your listening skills. You know how to behave. You know my expectation and your teacher's expectation. So I expect nothing less. So, I have one of my new friends, just met her today, but she's a friend. Miss Cassidy is going to kick off our assembly. So, Miss Cassidy, thank you. Thank you. How's everyone doing this morning? Awesome. Well, thank you guys for letting us be here today. Uh, my name is Cassidy, and I work for the Richmond Flying Squirrels baseball team. How many of you have ever been before? Awesome. I love to see so many hands. Hopefully, we'll get the rest of you guys with your hands up later. Awesome. Well, um, like you said, I have a... Uh, his very favorite person in the entire world, one of my favorite, uh, for sure. He's like this tall, he's like red and black, and he wears a cape. Does anyone know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Right? It could be a Nutsy, it might be. Um, <laughs> so like, on the count of three, if we all say Nutsy, maybe he'll appear for us? How does that sound? One, two, three! Take out a book and read and, and learn all of that information. Mm. Nancy, do you like to read? No. Yeah, Nancy loves to read. <laughs> so Nancy's created this really awesome program for you guys about reading um, that I'm going to explain in a little bit. But before I do any of that, I would like to read a story to you guys. How does that sound? Yeah. It's a fun story, I promise. Nancy's going to be my actor. He's going to act everything out for you. I'm going to read the book, and you guys are going to be Nancy's teammates. So, when Nutsy's doing really well, I want you guys to cheer for him and give him some encouragement. And when he's not doing so well, I want you guys to kind of encourage him a little bit. Nutsy likes the camera. Thank you, Nutsy. <laughs> so we're gonna read this book called Here Comes the Strikeout. Like I said, you guys are his teammates, so listen up. And then um, be, be good teammates and encouraging for Nutsy during his story. So here we go. 
in the spring, the birds sing, the grass is green, and the boys, girls, and squirrels come out to play baseball. Six years ago, it was Nutsy's first baseball season. Nutsy immediately loved the game. He could run the bases really fast. He could slide. He could catch the ball. But Nutsy could not hit the ball. Seven times that bat and seven strikeouts. Nutsy was in a really bad slump. His best friend on the team, Natasha, offered to let Nutsy use her lucky bat so that he could get a hit. As Nutsy walked up to the plate, the other team started booing. Here comes the strikeout, they said. He can't hit it. This will be an easy out. So Nutsy stood at home plate very nervous. The first pitch was a fastball. Strike one, yelled the umpire. The next pitch was very slow and Nutsy swung too soon. Strike two. So Nutsy stepped out of the batter's box. He took a deep breath and tapped his lucky bat on the ground. Then he stepped back up to the plate and waited for the pitch. It was a fastball that zoomed right over the plate. Nutsy didn't even have time to swing. Strike three, you're out. The game was over and Nutsy's team had lost. I did it again, he thought. Four times at bat and four strikeouts. He gave Natasha her lucky bat back because it was not so lucky for Nutsy. And the next day at school, Nutsy was still sad that he couldn't get a hit and that his team had lost. He felt like he had let his team down, and some of his classmates were even picking on him, calling him a bad hitter. Well, one of the teachers overheard and called Nutsy over. She told Nutsy that he was a good hitter. He's a good runner and a good catcher because he practiced those things. So if you work hard at hitting, you'll become a good hitter too. That's some great advice. Thank you for talking about <laughs> So later that day, Nutsy asked Natasha to help him with his hitting, and she said, of course, but you must work hard at it every day. Lucky bats won't do it. Lucky helmets won't do it. Only hard work will do it. So Nutsy and Natasha started practicing, and Natasha was trying to show Nutsy the right way to hold the bat. So is he holding the bat right? Uh, what's he doing wrong? Gotta <laughs> use the other way, Nutsy. Is that better? No! The handle, Nancy? The handle. The handle. The handle. Oh. <laughs> Flip it around now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, Nancy, show us your stance. Is that right? No. Put your feet closer together. <laughs> what about shoulder width apart? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Now give us a good swing, Nancy. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah. So Nancy kept trying swinging and practicing and practicing. And then Natasha pitched the ball to Nancy. He swung so hard that he fell all the way down. Oh. Nancy, strike one. <laughs> let's try that again, but this time let's swing a little easier. So Natasha pitched the ball to Nancy. He swung nice and easy, and he hit it. Yeah! <laughs> nice work, Nancy. Let's try that again. And that's just what Nancy and Natasha did all day and the next day, and the next. Some days, Nutsy practiced with Natasha, and some days he practiced alone. Some days he did a little better, and some days he didn't do so well. But Nutsy never gave up, and he kept working hard. So finally, it was game day again. Nutsy and the Flying Squirrels were playing against their biggest rival, the Bowie Bay Sox. <laughs> the first time Nutsy came up to bat, he wasn't nervous anymore. He remembered everything his friend Natasha had taught him, and he was ready. So the first pitch was a strike. Nutsy shook it off and got back into position. 
On the next pitch, he swung nice and easy, and he hit it. But it went right to the shortstop who caught it, so unfortunately, Nutsy was out. But he was just excited to get a hit, and he knew that he could do better. Yeah, nice work, Nutsy. So in the last inning, the score was tied, one to one. Natasha was up to bat and had gotten a great hit. She made it all the way to third base. <laughs> yeah. And now it was Nutsy's turn at bat. Look who's up, the other team shouted. Here comes the strikeout. He can't hit it. Everybody move in close. Well, Nutsy didn't listen to what they were saying. He felt confident and stepped up to the plate. He swung and missed for strike one. He swung at pitch number two and missed again. Strike two. Yeah, thanks for the encouragement. So Nutsy looked over at his friend on third base and she gave him a big thumbs up. So Nutsy took a deep breath and stepped back up to the plate. The third pitch came in fast, but Nutsy kept his eye on the ball the whole time. He swung, and crack, the ball sailed up and over the head of the shortstop for a base hit. Natasha raced home to score and get the win for the Flying Squirrels, and everybody jumped up and down to congratulate Nutsy! So now, whenever Nutsy plays baseball, sometimes he does strike out, but most times he gets a hit. So when, how do you do it, his teammates asked him. Was it a lucky bat? No. Well, Nutsy remembered what his friend Natasha had told him. Lucky bats won't do it. Lucky helmets won't do it. Only hard work will do it. The end. Nutsy, thanks for those great acting skills. You guys are a great team for Nutsy. Give yourselves a round of applause. You guys are awesome. So just like in this story, right, Nutsy wasn't so great at hitting, but he practiced, he got a friend to help him, and he just kept working hard at it, and he succeeded. So that goes with whether you guys are learning something in school and you're, you, know, you need to practice more. Maybe you guys play your own sports and you need to practice to get better. Whatever that is, make sure that you're working hard and practicing those things, asking for help when you need it, and you will succeed just like Nancy did. Yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna talk to you guys about this awesome reading program that Nancy created. It's called the Go Nuts for Reading Challenge because Nancy is nuts about baseball and he's nuts about reading. Those are the two things he's nuts about. So he's got a reading program for you, the Go Nuts for Reading Challenge. This is his bookmark. His really big bookmark. Nancy has really big books too, as you can tell. So his bookmark fits right inside his book. You gonna show him? Just like that. So you guys are gonna get your very own bookmark that looks just like that, but it's a lot smaller to fit in your books. So your teachers will be giving those to you sometime this week. The very first thing I want you guys to do is put your name on it. On the back, there's a place to put your name, your grade, your teacher. You're gonna put all that information on there in case you misplace it, lose it. Hopefully we're not gonna do that. Set it somewhere, we wanna be able to give it back to you. Then, I want you guys to start reading. So Nutsy is challenging you to read eight books. Do you guys think you can do that? Yeah! Yeah, that's easy. Eight books, that's all you gotta do, read eight books. So, the way that this program works, you guys are gonna pick a book that's age appropriate for you guys, and you're gonna start reading. Once you finish reading that book, you're gonna go back to your bookmark. There are eight hats on the bottom of that bookmark, numbered one through eight, baseball hats. You guys are going to take your number one hat and you're gonna color it in. Now you can go back and pick up a second book. You're gonna read that book. When you finish reading that book, you're gonna go back to your bookmark. Color in the number two hat. Then you're gonna pick a third book. You're gonna read that book all the way through. You're gonna finish it. You're gonna go back to your bookmark and color in the number three hat. All the way until you've read eight books and colored in eight hats on your bookmark. Once you do that, you're gonna get excited. You're gonna go over to your teacher. You're gonna turn in your bookmark. You're gonna get excited because you completed the Go Nuts for Reading Challenge. And you guys are gonna get a free ticket to come to a Flying Squirrel baseball game. Yeah, so it gets better than that. This isn't just an ordinary game. Raise your hand if you ever wanted to go on the field before. Yeah, 
So, you guys are not only going to get a free ticket to the game, but before the game even starts, you guys are going to get to come down on the field with Nancy and Natasha and parade around the field while everybody cheers for you for doing the program. How does that sound? So you get a free ticket, you get to come down on the field, and after the game, there's fireworks! is the night where your school is going to come out. It'll be your school, several other schools that are participating in this program. And all you have to do is read how many books? Eight! Love it. Now, can you read more than eight books? Yeah! Can you read ten books? Yeah! Or twenty books? Yeah! Or thirty books? Yes! I love it. You can read as many books as you want. We're just challenging, Nutsy is challenging you, to just start with eight books. And once you finish those eight books, we're going to invite you out to a game. So you guys have until about March 20th to read those books. That's a little over a month. You guys can do that, right? Yeah. Awesome. I love to hear that. Well, thank you guys for being such great listeners, such a great team for Nancy. I. How many of you are going to start reading today? Oh, this is awesome. You guys are great. Well, thank you for having us out here today. And um, have a great rest of your day. I'm going to pass it back to Sunday. Boys and girls, I'm excited about this, and so is Mr. Chandler. So get reading so we can go to the ball game. Mr. Chandler and I will both be there. So read, read, read. And let's give Cassidy and Nutsy a big round of applause. For